Good afternoon. I was going to say morning, but it's afternoon. It's Monday, the eleventh. It's around that <laughs> um, sort of time. Um, so this morning, I had to start my day off in London. Um, I had some paid presenting work um, today. Um, I've got to say, I was feeling extremely anxious about it. I don't mind doing interviews when it's for my channel because one, it's usually just me and my tripod in a room with the artist, so it's, well, except for when sometimes there's an audience of PRs and managers and stuff like that, but on the whole, that's how it is. But when you're doing it for a client, obviously, um, you don't know what the situation's going to be like, you don't really have control over it, and um, that always makes me feel a bit more anxious because you don't know what the setup's going to be like, and, and obviously they have questions they want you to ask, so it's not... Usually I just go in and chat and I don't really have a, a script or, or anything to follow. I just see what comes out basically. Um, but I, you have to have, you know, say the questions that they want included and stuff like that. Um, so that I was feeling really anxious about it because I, I haven't done any interviews in ages. And actually I was kind of moving away from that sort of work um, for the last few months. So I thought I'd be very, very rusty. Um, but luckily... Person I was interviewing, someone I've spoken to a few times over the years, and he's a really nice person, um, nice to talk to. So it, you know, even though I was anxious and even though I was rusty, it it went as well as I guess I could have hoped for, considering everything I was feeling and the um, adrenaline and the and the worries and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just feeling a bit on a high of relief right now that I got through it okay, and hopefully it's okay <laughs> and everyone's happy hopefully anyway so I had to rush back to um, Surrey because I need to be at the house for the arrival of the carpet man because Sai these days doesn't know what time he finishes work sometimes it's seven sometimes it's eight sometimes it's later so I just need to be here for when he arrives and Sai will hopefully join us so we're gonna get a quote for carpets and flooring and we genuinely don't know if we can afford it at all. Um, but we've kind of got in our heads the hierarchy of importance in terms of which rooms, if we can't afford to get it all done, which ones we we'll start with. And that's um, lounge and bedroom most important because we want to ideally do that before we bring in heavy sofas and heavy beds and stuff like that. And if we can stretch, of course, we'd like to do the hallway and stairs and the second bedroom, but they're not really urgent things at all. You know, I thought we got all the painting done. I've come in today to see everything, and unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it here, but on the edges where um, we've used paintbrushes to do the corner bits, um, the color is slightly different to the places we've used the rollers, so I think actually we need to do another coat on these areas, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what I'm doing first, though, is these gray bits up here, that's where um, some of the paint has come off, um, I forget what these bits are called, has come off basically when we've pulled off the tape. So I'm just going to paint them in with just some white acrylic just so they are less obvious. Like I've painted over this bit up here and you can barely see it now so at least it's just um, slightly less unsightly even if it's not completely cured. Good! morning so another day of getting stuff done here at the flat I'll tell you what it's so nice that every time I come to the flat yeah there's lots of bills within it but there's also more um, new home cars and it's just so nice every time I I come through the door I'm like greeted by kindness and it's just lovely um, so today what have I done so far I've only been here a few minutes but uh, I needed another hand so dad helped me measure this window because when you measure up for blinds you have to measure the width in three places and the height in three places and then take the low, the, low, God, the lowest um, measurement and that's the one you use to tell the blind company so we did that um, hopefully the blinds for this room will be coming soon and I'm going for a wooden blind which I think will be lovely I just filmed this segment, six minutes worth, and then it corrupted. So here I am doing again, but you won't know it's again. Uh, so I'm feeling a little bit stressed. So 
So I've walked to co-op, um, which is four minutes down the road, so that's fine. And I've got Sai's birthday card. I've got him his favourite beer. I've got him some chockies. It's his birthday tomorrow. I've just been so snowed under. I've heard that back at home, the vans that I've ordered him from Sai's have arrived. So at least I've got something for him tomorrow. So that's good. Where are we at? So last night, we thought we'd um, worked out what we were going to do, re flooring. We picked the carpet we were going to do, had worked out that probably laminate is not affordable for us right now and didn't make sense to do so. We thought, happy days, we got it sorted, got the quote from our carpet fitter. It was about what we expected it to be, so we were fine to go ahead. And he said, if you do next day delivery, it means you'll have it Friday, which means he can fit it on Monday. Great news. Um, um, but then I just thought, well, just to be extra sure, I said, so why don't you find out how much it was per square metre so we can be aware of kind of what sort of level pricing we're paying for this carpet. Because I'd been to Carpet Right last week and there were some incredible bargains and I remember there being some really affordable options. Oh, bear with me, phone. Oh God, give me strength. Yeah, so I can't remember what I was saying, but um, so when I heard that per square metre, they were fourteen ninety nine, and I knew that I had seen a similar thing at Carpet Right for eight thirty one per square metre. I, I said to Sai, well, I told Sai and said, "What do you think?" And he's like, "Oh, that's a quite a big discount." Um, he's like, "I'm busy at work. Can you speak to the carpet?" guy which is our friend Nick, our lovely friend Nick, so we're nice, it's really nice to be able to work with him actually, um, um, and see if he'd be happy to um, use another carpet that we find and fit it for us. So I messaged Nick and he said yeah he's fine to do that and then I rang mum uh, just to, because I need her, I was asking her if she could go and pick up the samples from carpet right for me so I can just check them against the wall colours uh, and also check them with the, the one we were going to go with just to see how the quality um, compares and I told her and she was just like oh I think you should go with who you were going with anyway and I was like yeah but you're not paying for it I'm paying for it and it could save me a few hundred pounds so I just I know it's inconvenient that I'm delaying it by a few days or um it's extra hassle, but if it can save me for a few hundred pounds, that's, you know, that can pay for some bills or that can pay for a chest of drawers, who knows? So, um, I just, I just didn't, I needed her to, someone to go, yeah, you're doing the right thing, trying to be thrifty, you know, I didn't need someone challenging me on that at that moment, so that made me feel stressed. Anyway, she's, um, um, so I spoke to the guy on carpet, right, and he's, I said, can I, get my mum to come and pick up some samples just so I can bring them back and he's like we've had a lot of trouble with samples um, so we now have a 50 quid deposit and it's one thing getting someone to do you a favour and pick up some samples for you which my mum has kindly agreed to do but that to then say can you also drop off 50 quid with this guy I just thought oh god I don't need to add that into the mix so I just explain the situation he's like I have to do it otherwise I'll get in trouble but if you promise to bring it back tomorrow, um, 20 quid. So mum's agreed to leave 20 quid with him and pick up the samples and she's just rang to say she's got them actually. But the tricky thing is, this was the one thing Sai was meant to be dealing with. As I said, we are getting it fitted by our friend Nick and he had started the conversation with Nick. So it just made sense for him to um, fill Nick in, in on you know what we're looking for and, and sort arrange everything but so I just messaged from work saying I just I just can't do that I don't have any time to be on my phone at work today or do any emails so I've taken this on now as well so like today I'm um, carpets tiling um, carpenter I'm trying to I've got a few Instagram campaigns that I'm also trying to do alongside this Hence why tripods in there. Um, I'm working with Download Festival, so that interview is due to go live today, and obviously there's a lot of emails about that, toing and froing. 
I've got to finish off all these bits in this room that need a second coat. And it's just like, I haven't eaten, it's two o'clock. I'm probably not gonna find time for lunch again. It's just so much for me, all on my own. I just, it's just one of those days where I need about 20 of me. And what's frustrating, I'm size got a really full on new job. The hours are full on, it's quite mentally draining. But he genuinely thinks I've got it easy. And because he doesn't see it, he doesn't see how many phone calls, how many emails, how much research I'm doing in between trying to carry on my blog work, in between, you know, trying to help friends. With certain, it's just, it's just a hell of a lot. Imagine if I had a baby in the mix. I mean, God knows how people do that. Um, as you can see, all my um, samples and stuff are here. Uh, it's a lot. It is a lot. The laminate. So this is just one of the samples that came. I have uh, apparently a few more have arrived at have arrived at home. This was the the most the only one we could really afford though. And it actually it is quite nice when you see it laid out. It doesn't look that nice there actually, but when you see it done, because we were going to get it in a, like a herringbone pattern like that. Um, but we got the fee feedback for how much it would be, not just to get the um, the laminate, but to get it fitted. And it is just considerably more expensive than getting the carpet. And because this isn't our forever home, it just seems silly to fork out that much right now. And annoyingly, the guy that sent this, I spoke to him on the phone yesterday and he said, which one out of the ones I sent is your favorite? And I went, this one. And he said, oh, that's the only one we don't have in stock. And because of Brexit, it's going to be a while till we can get it back. And I was like, oh, it's not typical. But I think that was the push I needed to go, like, forget it, because I don't want to have to wait till the end of June to be able to move into this place. It's dragging on enough as it is. So, yeah. Well, the first use of the oven was an interesting experience. It sounds like it's about to take off into space which I'm pretty sure is not a good sign. And it doesn't stop. It's not just like when you turn it on, it goes or something. It's just consistent noise. So if you're doing like a half hour job, it's terrific. Um, yeah, I think we'll be getting a new oven, but that will have to be another second hand job because I can't, second hand job, that sounds wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't afford a brand new oven. Oh dear. That's the thing on the survey, it said the oven is working. And it is, in theory, it is working. But is it working in the way you'd like? Probably not. Um, anyway, I've managed to find some time to have some lunch. I didn't think it was going to be possible. I've just cooked myself some of these. So these are the plant kitchen cauliflower popcorn things, which are really nice. I know oh, I hate cauliflower. Um, so I'm just going to take five minutes and just chomp on them for a bit.